Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are discussing one of the most important as well as tough classification in pharmacology, the classification of cephalosporin. In this classification, all the drug names sounds alike the same, which makes it difficult to study and memorize. So today I am giving some easy tricks and tricks to learn and memorize this difficult and hardest cephalosporin classification so come let's start watch the video and learn with me here we start cephalosporins are beta lactam antibiotics that are closely related both structurally and functionally to the penicillin both contain the beta lactam ring which is responsible for their pharmacological action in penicillin, the beta lactam ring is attached with the penicillinic acid side chain. But in case of cephalosporin, the beta lactam ring is attached to the side chain 7 amino cephalosporinic acid. So, this is the structural difference between penicillin and cephalosporin. Like penicillin, cephalosporin is also a bactericidal agent. So this penicillin, penicillin is a bactericidal. So you can remember that by penicillin that contain a C and bactericidal that also contain a C. So that's an easy mnemonic to study this term. Penicillin is bactericidal and most of the beta lactam group members are bactericidal in nature. For example, penicillin, cephalosporin, monobactam, then carbapenum along with this some aminoglycoside and also fluoroquinolone all this category coming under bactericidal agent and there are some bacteriostatic bacteriostatic agents are there for example macrolide chloramphenicol tetracycline sulfonamide etc so this can be asked in various competitive exams like the bacteriocidal agents and bacteriostatic agents so just remember those things. So this is all about cephalosporin introduction. Now let's see the classification of cephalosporin. Cephalosporins has been classified into first, second, third, fourth and fifth generations mainly based on their bacterial susceptibility patterns that means their spectrum of activity against various gram positive and gram negative bacteria and also based on their resistance to beta lactamase ring sorry beta lactamase enzyme then fifth generation cephalosporin are newer category which have an extended spectrum of activity against both gram positive and gram negative organism so let's go through the various generations of cephalosporin so the first one first generation cephalosporin for this both parenteral and oral dosage forms are available. Parenteral formulations include cephalothin, cephasolin, cephadroxyl. And oral formulation include cephalexin and cephradin. So here the trick to memorize the first generation cephalosporin. All the first generation cephalosporin whether it is parenteral or oral formulation all the drugs contain the prefix cepha like cephalothin cephasolin cephadroxyl cephalexin and cephadrin and there is a common alphabet a after ceph there is a cepha so like a the first alphabet Drugs with cepha prefix falls into first generation cephalosporin category. So once again the name that start with prefix cepha comes under first generation cephalosporin. But there is an exception. To know what the exception is let, let's move to the second generation cephalosporin category. The exception here is cephachlor which is a second generation cephalosporin okay here 
the name start with the prefix sefa but still it is a second generation so guys remember this thing sefa chloris is second generation cephalosporin not this point this can be asked in exams as this is an exception now let's see the other drugs here also parenteral and oral formulations are available example cefuroxime and cefoxetine which are parenteral formulation and cefaclor and cefuroxime oxetil which are mainly oral formulation so all these second generation drugs start with the prefix cefo c e f o cefo example cefoxetine or cefu cefuroxime or cefuroxime oxetil so all this second generation cephalosporins start with cefo or cefu here one of the important point is cefuroxime is a parenteral second generation cephalosporin whereas cefuroxime oxetil is a oral second generation cephalosporin this is also an important point this can also asked in questions like cefuroxime oxetil is a oral or parenteral second generation cephalosporin so note this point also now let's see the third generation cephalosporin the this is a little big classification or list but still there is a easy way to study here also parenteral and oral formulations are available the cephalosporins with the suffix me m e or one o n e falls into the third generation category for example parenteral formulations like cefotaxime cefisoxime ceftacidine and oral formulation cefixim and cefpodoxim proxetil this all ends with the suffix me m e then parenteral formulation like ceftriaxone cefoperazone ends with the prefix sorry the suffix on o n e okay so this third generation cephalosporin either end with the suffix me m e or end with the suffix o n e o 1 so there are some cephalosporin category uh, class uh, drug names in third generation that start with ceft c e f t ceft okay so third generation cephalosporin generally either end with the suffix me or one or start with the prefix ceft example ceftamet pivoxil then ceftacidim then ceftriaxone all this coming under third generation category here is also an exception that is the second generation cephalosporin cefuroxime which ends with me that means me but still it's a second generation cephalosporin so if we note that we can see that this second generation cephalosporin contain the drugs which are all exceptional names for example cefaclor which start with cefa but still it is a second generation and also cefuroxime which ends with me but still it is a second generation cephalosporin so this is all about third generation cephalosporin these are mainly ends with the suffix me or one or start with the prefix ceft now let's move to the fourth generation cephalosporin they have only parenteral formulations are available this is also a novel category and here the drugs include cefepime and cefpirom so here we can see both names contain pime or pirom the ending the suffix is pime or pirom and both contain the common term pi p i so here we can memorize it by using this term both contain pi cefepime and cefpirom 
so this is all about fourth generation cephalosporin now the next and last category is fifth generation cephalosporin the fifth generation cephalosporin which is a newer category under cephalosporin classification these are also mainly parenteral formulation example ceftarolin ceftobiprol and ceftolozane here the third drug ceftolozane usually that is given as a combination with tazobactam tazobactam is also a beta lactam antibiotic so usually this ceftolozone which is a newer drug which is given as combination with tazobactam that's an important point because sometimes question may ask like the drugs which combine with tazobactam is the answer will be ceftolozone and here the fifth generation cephalosporin contain ceft plus ol or rol example ceftarolin which contain ceft plus rol then ceftobiprol which contain ceft plus rol then ceftolozane which contain ceft plus ol so this is the important mnemonics to memorize the fifth generation cephalosporin that contain ceft plus ol or rol so all these drugs coming with ceft plus ol that falls into fifth generation cephalosporin so this is all about today's presentation so once again i conclude the top po uh, points the first generation cephalosporins that start with cepha the second generation cephalosporin that start with cefu or cepho then the third generation cephalosporin that ends with me or one or start with ceft then the fourth generation cephalosporin that contain the word pi pi in their name either pyme or pyro and the last one for the fifth generation cephalosporin that contain ceft plus ol or rol so this is all about today's presentation and i hope this was an easy session for you and if you have any doubts or suggestion please comment it below now this is the question time there are some questions for you please go through the questions and give me the answer in the comment box so this is the first question select the fourth generation cephalosporin among the following option a cefpirom option b ceftisoxam option c ceftazidim and option d cefuroxam second question which of the following is a second generation cephalosporin option a ceftazidim option b cefalothin option c cefotaxim option d cefoclor and option e cefalexin third question select the first generation oral cephalosporin option a cefalexin option b cefradin option d option c cefadroxil and option d cefaclor fourth question third generation oral cephalosporin option a cefixim option b cefpodoxim proxitil option c cefdinil and option d ceftibutan please go through these questions and give me the answer in the comment box given below so let's see with another video in pharmacy made easy thank you so much for watching my channel and if you like this channel please do like share and subscribe thank you